OK, so I'm in the middle of updating my uh, 2007 uh, MacBook, black MacBook, uh, to uh, to run Lion. At the moment, it's running Snow Leopard. It's just done an absolutely huge update. Uh, it's taken about three quarters of an hour um, and it still needs to do one more install and restart before um, it's before it's ready for me to go onto the App Store and do Lion. Um, it's worth pointing out that this is a 2.1 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor and it has 2 gig of RAM. Uh, the RAM is the minimum requirement for um, uh, uh, Lion um, and this computer can't take any more RAM than 2 gig um, and the processor is uh, the Core 2, du Core 2 Duo processors are the minimum processor requirement for um, Lion, although this isn't the, the slowest Core 2 Duo processor that I've seen. In fact, the new MacBook Airs, um, or newish MacBook Airs, I'm not sure what the latest um, update to them is, but certainly the, um, the new-ish MacBook Airs uh, use far slower processors and will be capable of... Uh, running Lion, so um, that's not too bad in that, but the RAM is a bit disappointing and a bit whatever. Anyway, we'll see how this works, okay? So I'm going to do an install and restart now um, to finish off doing this software update, and then we'll hop onto the Mac App Store. Okay. Right, so that last reboot has just completed, and uh, now I think I'm ready to go ahead and... Upgrade from version 10.6.8 to a um, to 10.7. In fact, it's 10.7.1. Um, whether or not I can do that all in one go, or whether or not I'll have to do an update after that, I don't know. But we'll see. How exciting! So we're going to hop onto the App Store now. Okay. taking its time don't think this computer's ever been onto the app store while we're waiting for that to happen um, I'm not sure how this is going to get on supporting all the swipe gestures and things like that that are available in Lion because certainly uh, all those new gestures came out when the um, the first, or oh, well, certainly all those swipe gestures came out after this. I bought this computer, and I think it was the first MacBook Airs that um, that had those. Right now, this says it's going to cost twenty pound ninety nine. But it actually isn't because um, you buy it once and any computer that is registered on the same account in the App Store, I think it's up to five computers, can actually take it. Okay, so hopefully I'm signed in. Let's just go for it. Now it's saying buy app, but I shouldn't need to. Okay, I'm going to have to pause here while I put my Apple ID and password in. Right, so I've done that. It says you've already purchased this item to download it again for free. Select OK, which is exactly as I thought. You can have it on as many computers as are licensed on your system. Look at that fly down there. We're now down in the dock and that is going to download. It's going to take an age, so I will stop recording while that is downloading and come back later. Okay, so that's taken rather a long time to download. Um, it's now a minute past six. I started doing this round about sort of quarter to five, something like that. Um, and now we're ready to uh, set up the installation of macOS Lion. Um, so it's saying click continue at some point it's going to tell me to turn this off 
um, in order to download it. Okay, uh, it does look like it's 10.7, so it looks like I'm going to need to do a software update to um, to do uh, 10.71. Okay, so I need to agree to that. I have read it and I agree it. You saw me read it. Right, so this is going to uh, restart automatically, as I say. So I'm going to come out of this now and come back in when Lion is installed. Right, so now we're in Lion. This is the first boot of Lion. It's taken a little while to do that. Let's do this. About this Mac. 10.7, I'll need to do a software update uh, a bit later on, but I won't bore you with that. Um, yep, two gigabytes of DDR2 SD RAM. We'll just see how well this works then. Um, I'm not entirely convinced that the um, that the trackpad on this lap laptop is actually going to do its stuff, but we'll see. Um, right, so here we are then. That is the finder. There's the launch pad. All right, let's go to the launch pad. All right, and so let's just see. I'm going to do a two-finger swipe now. And a two-finger swipe is actually moving me around my apps quite nicely. Uh, it's a little bit slower than my iMac, but it always was, because my iMac's a 2.66 gig. All right, okay, so let's just escape that. Um, and now let's nip into Safari then. Here's Safari. Probably take a little while to boot, because it's, as I say, yay, here we are. That's not too bad in terms of speed. Could be a little bit faster. All right, let's just see what the scrolling does, okay? So if I, oh, hold on, spinning beach ball there. Okay, so if I... Oh, still spinning beach ball. Come on, Mac OS. Right, okay, let's see what scrolling does. It's there, okay, but that is working very well, okay, but that always did, I think. Okay, Apple United Kingdom, right, okay, let's lust after something in the Mac store, shall we? Okay. All right, let's lust after a new Mac. Not that I can afford one. Okay, so now, there we go, that's got a few pages. Now let's just see if it's one finger swiping. That is not working, okay? One finger swiping, two finger swiping, three finger swiping, any finger swiping but the scrolling still works okay all right let's just see if using the arrows work to go back and forwards and no they don't all right so unfortunately that it's not going to work without a magic mouse um although i'm surprised that launchpad actually works like that okay we're going to see what uh, some of these other things do then. All right, I'm gonna set up a new uh, desktop thingy on Mission Control. Okay, I don't want the dashboard to be part of it, so uh, let's just escape that. Go to System Preferences. Here we are, an age later. Um, let's have a look at Mission Control then. Uh, I don't want to show the dashboard as a space. 
and I'm going to get rid of that one as well. Okay. And now go back to Mission Control, add a new desktop and another desktop. Okay. Uh, switch to this desktop and I'm going to make, oh, just for the sake of argument, let's make pages work. Okay, so I'm going to assign pages to that desktop and then I'm going to add another desktop. Right, let's go back to the Safari one. Okay, get the options on that. Uh, I'll assign that to all desktops, I think. And go back to Mission Control, go to Desktop. Three and all right, then just for now, we'll assign iTunes to that one. No, I won't because I haven't got a library on here and that's going to moan. So let's do Logic Express instead. Options assign that to this desktop. All right, so now we'll open Logic and we'll open Pages. Right, we're in Logic Express now. Okay. Right, using finger swipes is scrolling me along here. One finger swipe is doing nothing. Okay, that's two finger swiping. Oops, Swayze, hang on. Let's go up here. See if I can switch between some full screen apps. And no, that is not having it. Okay, right, let's just see what the arrows do. Right, they're just moving me around in Logic Express. Right, so actually. That's not working either. Okay, because I would have thought that at least if they couldn't give you the swiping gestures on an older machine, that the arrow keys would work or something, but they're not moving me around from space to space. All right, I'll see if there's a system preference pane that will sort that out. And then I'll probably end this video. Right, okay, so we're going to go to the trackpad. Right, track pad gestures, use two fingers to scroll, allow horizontal scrolling. Clicking needs to be allowed, dragging needs to be allowed. Don't know what drag lock is. Um, move content in the direction of finger movement yeah this is not the um the same preference pane as um newer max get when they have um lion installed so in fact yeah it it ain't gonna happen okay but let's just before we leave system preferences should have not done that but there we go i'll have to load that again Right, let's go to Mission Control and see whether or not when switching to an application, right. Mission Control is F9. Application Windows is F10. But how do we move between spaces? And we actually have none.
also I don't know how you're supposed to move between spaces there's not an option up here to do it if I nip into pages here I'm really surprised because as I say that launch pad thing works really well all right so if I go there it will move my space um, just just nip to a, an open document here pages itself will need an update to allow things like auto auto save although that appears to be there all right so if I go into full screen there Come on, dear. Yeah, a two finger scrolling works. All right. But you cannot swap between full screen applications doing that. The arrow keys don't work. So I really, even I'm now doing controls, are ah, control and arrow key appears to work. All right, okay. All right, so the moral of all this faffing around is that if you want to upgrade an older laptop to Lion, um, then make sure that you've got um, a, a magic mouse or a magic trackpad to go with it. All right, just before I leave you, nip to the finder, see what the finder looks like says he nip to the finder it opens and one thing that is missing there is airdrop and that is because airdrop is only available on uh, Macs or MacBooks uh, post 2008 because those had airport extreme and this has just got airport so yeah another slight disappointment there having said that it's not too bad because really um, having the latest operating system does at least enable you to keep your computer up to date as far as things will go because really and truthfully um, I'm being very cynical here they only bring out new operating systems when the last one is about to get hacked to death um, so yeah um, it's a bit sad that some of the things don't work quite as well as on later machines it's only really to be expected because um, Lion as an operating system is so dependent on software as um, discussed in my last video regarding the auto save um, and it's also dependent on hardware and if you ain't got the hardware then you're not going to get the same experience okay it's not too bad it's as you know it, it's about oh, I don't know how much a magic mouse is these days what is it, about 65 pounds something like that I've got one for my iMac I don't think it's worth the expense for this one but uh, there we go anyway thank you for enduring this bye bye peeps